current role is as a senior business analyst. So I am the gatekeeper between the business and the development teams. It's quite good because I can actually place myself in the banking environment or the energy environment and I, and I still get to meet a lot of different people, different backgrounds, different departments and um, work with a lot of external agencies. For any business to take a step forward you need to be mentoring consistently throughout your business. So my mentee came from a technology background so she was a second year student studying at the time. She didn't really come across as very outgoing or very um, outspoken at the time so she was pretty shy, pretty timid, totally unaware of what was available to her. We worked on her confidence, we worked on her interview skills, how she would be like in, in a large group of people, would practice presentations and you could see that confidence come out of her. The beautiful thing with her and probably with a lot of people and a lot of uh, mentees is they're unaware of the knowledge they already possess. It was only ha having built up that relationship that I realised that actually not only has she got the typical skills that you'd expect from a university student, she'd set up her own business on the side and there was a whole bunch of skills that she could then portray to employees. She never even had the confidence at the beginning that she was going to get one role. She ended up having two and then to choose which location she preferred. A lot of the key skills are the vital part there. Things like communication, written, verbal, how you portray something, how you do presentations. And a lot of this is practiced during mentoring. In May 2013, the Department for Business, Innovation and Skills did an extensive business survey around small business mentoring. Main takeaways, less than 15% were using a mentor and about 70% of small businesses were not interested in mentoring at all. Yet up to 63% of businesses with a mentor were strong at tasks crucial to a successful business. Peer-to-peer -peer mentoring is widely available. Businesses across the UK can now access one-to-one -one support through a national network of 27,000 mentors. This includes 15,000 volunteer mentors. They have joined the 12,000 mentors already available through 115 mentoring organisations. First, recognise you don't know everything. Second, everyone has a fear of failure, no matter how skilled you are. Mentors can help you face your fears of failure from their own personal experiences. Third, shadowing a business. This is one of the most creative ways that small businesses can get over that big hurdle. Fourth, go online. Look at the businesses big and small that share their mentoring experiences.